Hey, what's up, guys? Jazz Broganzo here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's next? Oh my. Um. Wow. A little ditty out of Minneapolis. This will be a short story, but uh, it'll make its point. Um, let's take a look. This comes out of The Blaze. St. George. Kirby. Mural destroyed by lightning strike. Witnesses say and reactions are particularly pointed. As you can see, the before and after shot. A George Floyd mural in Toledo, Ohio, was destroyed by what witnesses say was a lightning strike. Interesting. Toledo, Ohio, not Minneapolis. Hmm. Details. The building wall upon which the mural was painted collapsed, the station said, adding that WTVG's Doppler radar showed a lightning strike around 4.30 in the afternoon. Tuesday in the block where the building which used to house the Mugshots Bar, is located. In the aftermath, the station said the, the Toledo police were seen outside the building and set up tape around the piles of bricks which the artwork was crafted. You see right there, yes, there's video, but a picture paints a thousand words. The building itself is structurally sound. The city's building inspector told the news station, and the owner of the building is working on the cleaning up the bricks and tear down the rest of the mural wall. However, an updated version of the story added that Hugh Coogan, a city building inspector, told the Toledo Blade newspaper that the collapse was the result of a natural deterioration of the middle of the wall was bowing recently. Quote, it was just age, inspector told the Blade. According to the news station, it just came away. It's clear if Coogan is the city building inspector, the news uh, station cited saying the building was structurally sound. The mural was painted in July 2020, nearly one year to the date of its destruction. The station said groups have held memorial services for, for, for St. George Kirby in front of the mural. The news station noted, added that one of them took place on the one year anniversary of Kirby's death at the hands of police. The city of Toledo said in a statement that the official will work with the Arts Commission on planning a new mural or help the commission and the artist find a new location. The station said, adding that they were heartbroken to see the artist's David Ross work collapse. Reaction? Commenters tweeted, quote, and they say God isn't real, said one. I'm not a religious person whatsoever, but if there was any other event that caused me to pause, it will be it. Another, quote, warning, be on the lookout for a liberal logic on this. Lightning struck the mural, lightning because of climate change, Republicans don't believe in climate change, Republicans are all racists, white racists therefore destroy the mural. There you go. Another, BLM is going to say that lightning strikes are racist and they should check their privileges. My thoughts. Um, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't believe in a God, uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, this will give you a serious pause. Um. The fact of the matter is, is that St. George Kirby uh, vaulted high upon the pillar of the Minneapolis community and, of course, of the wokeism religion. Uh, of course, it was elevated to new heights during last year's dozen cities being burned down to the ground and over $2 billion worth of damage. But... It's neither here nor there. Hmm. Comes around, goes around. Just saying. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. 
hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.